Hey, Mike, good to see you. We just talked to Malone, and he said, hey, it's no surprise. You guys are underdogs again, uh, at least from the outside perspective. What does that do to your approach, if anything, um, when that is kind of the narrative and the outside noise? I mean, I can't speak for everyone else, but for me, it does nothing. I don't really pay attention to what the so-called experts or whoever, whoever says we're the underdog. I don't really pay attention to that. Michael Spencer, CBS Denver. Hey, Michael, after game four, you were pretty critical on yourself needing to be more uh, competitive to start games. Obviously, that worked in five and six. How do you continue that heading into round two? I'm just keeping the same mindset, you know, uh, going into games, trying to, you know, impose my will regardless of the situation, regardless of how teams are trying to guard me, just make an impact however I can. <clears throat> Todd Romero, Altitude Sports. Hey, Michael, how cool is it to be on this team and in almost every single game, if it's not you and Joker, that somebody else steps up and helps this basketball team? And how has that helped you guys gel as, as one unit? Um, I mean, it just we just count on each other. We, we've earned each other's trust. So we know if one of us is having an off game and the energy is not there, it's going to be somebody right there to pick them up, pick up the slack. Um, we just have ultimate confidence in each other. Katie Wingy, Altitude Sports. Hey, Mike, I know you and Tori uh, were really close when he was on this team. Have you talked to him at all ahead of this series? Have you um, talked some game to him or communicated with him at all? Yeah, me and Tori talk all the time. We talk almost every day. So uh, we definitely talked a little bit. I was like, bro, are we even allowed to be friends during this series? We were just joking around. But uh, yeah, we, we talk all the time. Brandon Cristal, KOA Denver. Hey, Michael, when you have six threes in a quarter, do you allow yourself to think, well, I need to go out and try to have seven or eight? Do you want to, you want to, is that a realistic goal, I guess, to think about? I mean, that's not the thought process because um, then you just put pressure on yourself. If you have a good performance, you can't be scared that you're going to have to outdo yourself the next time. Every game is different. Every, you know, the flow of games is different. I'm going to get different shots. So it's just, um, that day, preparing for that game and giving that game everything you have and leaving the rest up to, to God, just giving effort and, you know, the right attitude. Christo Saltes, SDNA Greece. Hey, Michael, hope you are doing well. What type of challenge for you personally is that series against the Suns? And what would you like to maintain on your game from the series against the Blazers? I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. Can you, can you ask that question one more time? Yeah. You hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Great. Uh, what what type of challenge for you personally is that series against the Suns? And what would you like to maintain on your game uh, from yeah, the I mean, series against the Blazers? The Suns is a great um, is a great team. They're very well balanced on the offensive and defensive end. Um, they're very well coached, and so it's going to be a challenge for me personally and the team just because we know we're going to get their best shot, and they're a very well well put together team. So. Is definitely they're not here by accident. They just beat the defending champs, and it's just going to be a it's going to be a well a well fought series, and I'm looking forward to it. Chris Marlowe, Altitude Sports. Hey, Michael. Now, looking at the lineups, it, it seems like there's a really good chance you're going to be guarded by Jay Crowder, some maybe a lot of the time. What what kind of issues? What kind of problems does he present as a defender for you? I mean, I don't think that anybody necessarily, if I'm locked in, I don't feel like anybody can can guard me. So that's my mindset going in. I'm not looking at it like, oh, he's he can stop me. He's good at this or that. But he is a very um, physical defender. He, you know, he's a vet in the league. He knows how to play the game. Um, and so it'll be it'll be another challenge for me going up against him. But I'm looking forward to it. Mike Singer, Denver Post. Hey, Mike, to follow up on that, um, how, what, what is the challenge like when they not only have Crowder to throw at you, but a number of other wings that just to potentially give you different looks? I know you said it doesn't necessarily matter. Does it affect you at all when they switch those, um, you know, run through multiple defenders? Um, no. I mean, like you said, they do have multiple players that they might put on me. But um, my job is just to be locked in and uh, bring energy and effort, and I'll find good shots, and I'll, uh, I'll produce, so. 
All right, Mike, we got time for one last question. We'll go with Dwayne Rankin from the Arizona Republic. Thank you. Uh, Michael, you were talking about your relationship with, with Tory. Are you concerned he's going to give away secrets that you guys have? And because the Suns obviously have been, you know, asking him <laughs> about what Denver does. And, and are you worried about that at all or not? Um, no, I'm not worried about it because, I mean, as series go on, everybody, teams know each other inside and out. Like the Blazers after game two or three, we knew everything that they were going to run. We knew how the players played. We knew what they were good at. So regardless, they would get to know me and they would get to know our team after a couple of games. Um, but, you know, me and Tori have played countless hours and games of one-on-one. -on -one. You know, we, uh, we, were, we um, worked out together before the bubble the whole time. So he he does, he does, we played a lot and he, he knows my game and I know his game, but um, he still can't stop me. I can't remember the last time he beat me one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> All right, Mike, thank you.